The summer before you began medical school, I was heavily involved in the Center for Medical and Humanities in Buffalo. And the director at the time, Dr. Linda Passara, told me she was very excited about this young woman joining the incoming class who just obtained her master's in narrative medicine. I thought, wow. <laughs> and then I thought, I wonder if she's single. <laughs> August of 2016, I got a phone call from Abby. She shared that at a welcome event the previous night, she ended up meeting someone she found very intriguing. She told me that she spent the entire evening chatting exclusively with that one person. We met our annual book club event, and I found you to be this beautiful, kind, and an incredibly thoughtful person. The next time we met, was at a bar night where I shamelessly followed you around and asked for your number. You don't wanna miss this. Like, oh my God. Like, this is so amazing. When meeting you on the first day, I immediately knew that I wanted to be around you as much as I could. I didn't have any doubt in my mind soon after we met that I could spend my life with you. You don't wanna miss this. They said, don't cry, but I can't help it. <laughs> I don't want to wrinkle you. <laughs> oh my God. It's like a storybook. <laughs> Story, a storybook. In the last seven years I've watched the two grow together, I have never seen a better smile as when the two are together. And when Abby and I call, one of my first questions to Abby is, where is Tom? The reason I ask this is because I know Tom makes Abby happy. Oh my God, <laughs> Thanks. you look so beautiful. Thanks. Love you. Abby, I am so excited. I can't wait to be standing by the huppa with you and reading my vows, and I can't believe it's here. I can't wait to marry you. Let's get this day started. You don't wanna miss this. Abby, I will always be there for you after your tough days, to watch Ted Lasso, to order dominoes on nights when you're too tired to move, and to celebrate the good days because your success is my success. I cannot imagine a meaningful life without you, and I only hope to make you as happy as you invade me. Your kindness has helped sustain our relationship throughout our seven years together. And I promise to do the same for you, especially throughout the difficult years of residency. I promise to love you with all of my being and continue to honor how much you mean to me for years to come. By the power vested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may smash the glass and kiss your bride. Run to the top till I reach the top. I go all the way and I don't stop, don't stop. Do what I do when I'm on the move. Then I'm coming in fast. Can you keep up, keep up? Ready, set, go, and I'm on a roll. Now red light, green light, go, go, go. I'm Eddie, like you have a natural talent to make everyone around you smile and happy. I can feel you have a good heart full of love. I have been waiting for this moment for almost 30 years. I'm very lucky that Tom has chosen a wife like you. What you gonna do? So I'm so proud of Tom. He's a boy who is always very nice to people, and he's full of curiosity and ambitions. And she's a, he works extremely hard. and Abby. I hope that you always cherish this day of honor and promises, and I hope that you continue to grow individually while recognizing that the whole of your union is infinitely more important than its many parts.
I'm not What's a very happened? religious man, and I've never really paid for Abby to find the right person. But when Tom came along, praying or not, I couldn't have asked for anything more. I am a blessed person. Abby and Tom, I love you so much and forever.